Uh, Scotty Two Hockey here, aka the Average Hockey Fan, once again. And today I would like to talk about another possible pickup through free agency for the Montreal Canadiens this summer. He's a top six goal scorer, put up 40 goals this year, would definitely help our power play. I think he fits well into our system. He's fast, he's a veteran, he pretty much brings everything Montreal needs, except for on the defensive end. As far as a defensive top six forward, he isn't the best defensively, but he can get the job done. And he's a career, pretty much a career NHL top six player in Carolina. He came over to Buffalo this year and he had himself a great year, putting up a career high, 40 goals. And the player I'm speaking about is Jeff Skinner. His current cap is $5,725,000, uh, but he's worth the money at the moment, and he's going to want to raise this offseason. Coming into the free agency, I would expect Skinner to want at least $7 million. He put up 40 goals this year, and um, he's 26 years old, so I would see him wanting a five-year deal, maybe even a seven-year deal. I'd be more comfortable if Montreal did sign him. If it was a five-year deal, he would be 31 at the end of this, maybe 32. I'm not 100% sure when his birthday is. Um, Jeff Skinner's position is center. He shoots left. You could put him in on the left wing position. If you brought Jeff Skinner in, you would have to move a player out like Andrew Shaw or Jonathan Drouin uh, just to clear the cap room because Shaw is a good player. Don't get me wrong. I love what I seen from Shaw last year, but you need to clear the cap space. And he's a pretty big cap hit. He's one of our top six forwards at the moment. And as for Jonathan Drouin, he has tons of potential. God only knows if we traded him, he could blow up and be a great player. But he's another guy who has a big contract who I think is a movable piece for the Montreal Canadiens because of his lack of effort down the stretch and just his poor production when he was really needed this year for the Habs. But as for Jeff Skinner, Skinner is a pure goal scorer who could help our power play. He's fast, knows how to find the perfect spot in front of the net to get his shot off, and he's a veteran who I think would fit well in Montreal's power play in their top six and in Claude Julien's fast-paced system now. It used to be a very hard defensive system, but Claude Julien kind of has the team playing a wide-open game. This year, last year, he did for sure. I really like the style of the team's play. Up and down the ice, back and forth, just beating you to the puck every time. I really liked Montreal's style last year. Um, in Jeff Skinner's career, in 661 games played, he has 244 goals, 198 assists, 442 points. He's a minus 95. This year in Buffalo, though, in 82 games played, he had 40 goals, 23 assists, 63 points. His plus-minus was zero on a team that ended up very being very bad down the stretch. Not due to Skinner being very bad, just the team in general just fell apart. Buffalo at one point was in first, almost going into the All-Star break. And uh, this year, I believe they finished seventh in the Atlantic, sixth in the Atlantic, something like that. Not in a good position for sure. Um, and he has six career hat-tricks. And he's also put up 31 goals as a rookie, and he's a proven, a proven career power play goal scorer and career power play point getter. This year, he actually had 16 power play points, 8 power play goals, 8 power play assists. But there's, there's a lot that I like from this guy. In his career, he has 45 power play goals, 53 power play assists, 98 power play points in 8 years in the league. But mainly what he, what he brings to Montreal, where I think he would be a good fit for the Habs on the power play, what the Habs couldn't find this year is someone who could score, someone who could find the back of the net. They had so many good shots on the power play right in front of the net, point-blank shots, and they just could not score. I know at the end of the year, the power play got a bit rough. They couldn't even seem to get a shot off. They couldn't even seem to keep it in their own zone. But halfway through the year, like right after the All-Star break, Montreal did have a decent looking power play. They were getting a lot of scoring attempts. They put Yoel Armia in front to try and score. God, that's how bad, that's how desperately they were trying to score in front of the net. They were getting the shot off. Jeff Skinner is the type of guy, if you give it to a wide open shot to him in front of the net, he's going to score 25% of the time. He is going to score you a clutch goal. He's a pure goal scorer. It's what he does. It's what he's known for in the league. And I think he would be a good fit for the Montreal Canadiens on a five-year deal, maybe $6.5, $7 million. I'm sure there will be other teams after him, but he ain't going to cost you as much as a free agent like Artemi Panarin or Matt Duchesne would because of what they bring you in an all-around game. But he's a perfect fit in our top six. He's a goal-scoring forward who helps on the power play. He brings speed, experience, everything the Habs need right now. And Mark Bergevin currently is looking for a top six forward. From everything I've read, from all the media posts I've read, the insiders, it really sounds like Mark Bergevin is in the market for a top six forward. Anyways, guys, scotty 2 Hockey here, a.k.a. The Average Hockey Fan. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell for my upcoming videos. And you folks have a great day. Over and out.